Shalom, Shalom. All right, first and foremost, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rechak, Wadash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone who rule well and teach well and who I've learned this truth from through the power and spirit of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. Peace and salutations unto all the Akim, the brothers preaching his word and truth and in sincerity across the four corners of the earth. And Shalom to the hopeful elect, you sincere believers scattered wherever you may be. It's going to be um, like a type response to the brother, uh, our Elder Benji, out there in the Chicago camp. Um, as well as the elder from Mississippi, uh, Spirit Wind Judah. Um, you know, basically going into learning to relax, all right, and not letting small things um, build up to big things, right? Nipping, uh, nipping shit in the bud, man. Not dwelling or caring too much on a particular situation or, or, or you know, worrying about certain things that may come up in your walk, all right? As the brothers have, have pointed it out, hey, be still and know that he is, you know? Know that Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai is in control, man. He he cares for you, you know what I'm saying? All right, so I'm going to start with uh, Sirach 30 and 21. Give not over thy mind to heaviness. And afflict not thyself in thine own counsel. Okay. Because, uh, you know, it's going to be days where or you have your ups and you have your highs and your lows, man. Again, you know, this truth is like a roller coaster. You're going to have your, your loop-de-loops <laughs> that, you know, every day just seems like it's it's repetitive shit. You know, we, at the end of the day, we're longing uh, for a new kingdom all right, upon this earth, man, under... You know the standard of righteousness, and we're waiting upon Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. But until then, hey, we're gonna be in hell. All right, we're gonna be in hell. And I say that to say this: finding comfort in hell is not bad, man. You know, it's not bad to have your. I wouldn't say, uh, you know, because we never really have a a break, you know, or a day off, so to speak. You know, but it's gonna be moments. You know, cherish cherish them little moments, man. Enjoy the little things. Enjoy the little things like uh, <laughs> it was that rule in Zombie Land. Enjoy the little things. You know, whether it be spiritual, carnal, or whatever the case may be, because the Lord will throw you them dubs, man. And even if they are else, you know, it's really a dub at the end of the day because those L's are going to lead up to a uh, uh, um, building. You know, they're, they're building blocks. For you and your walk, right? It, they're they're lessons. Okay, so we can't give our mind over to heaviness, man. You know, you fall short, so what? All right, get back up. Righteous man falleth, and he get back up. All right, we can't be dwelling so much to the point where where it, it takes a toll on you, man. You know, you're mental and you're stressed out. All right, that's why we have, have to pray and cast our cares upon him. He cared for us. Let me grab that. Um, I, I believe it's that uh, Romans 4. No, Salakia. Let me just grab it. Um, here it is. First Peter 5 and 7. Casting all your care upon him, for he cared for you. Okay, so whatever you might be going through, man. Whatever your worry is or whatever, you know, your mind is, is shifting towards. All right, and it's beating you up, it's beating you down. All right, pray to the Lord, man. It says, "Be sober, be vigilant, because your adversary, the devil, as a roaring lion, as a roaring lion, walketh about seeking whom he may devour." Okay. Hey, hey, Satan is looking for you to 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 lean on to that. What? So he could he could further the issue. You know what I'm saying? The spiritual demon, Satan. You know, because if you entertain that thought or, or whatever you might be going through, you know, hey, man, it's going to make your heart sick. And we can't give our mind over to heaviness. All right? Pray pray to the Lord to strengthen you, strengthen your mind, keep you sane. You know, as the scriptures say, he did not give us a spirit of fear, but of love, of power, and of a sound mind. 
All right? So be, hey, hey know that Yahweh Bashim Yahweh got us, man. All right, let me grab this one real quick uh, through the Spirit. Uh, Sirach 14 and 2. It reads, Blessed is he whose conscience hath not condemned him, and who is not fallen from his hope in the Lord. And as the brother Benji had brought out, you know, hope goes into expect, uh, expectation. All right? We're ex expecting the Lord to help us, man, to deliver us. And he will. Uh, we got to have the faith and keep the faith. Keep thou which thou hast. And pray for more faith. All right? Because at the end of the day, man, if you're if you're going through these things, man, the Lord is dealing with you. And take comfort in that. And that alone. All right? But it said, Blessed is he whose conscience have not condemned him. Okay? Because basically, man, hey, you know, Satan will even try to uh, to play on your mind to where even if you're, you know, having some yun yun on the game, kicking it, whatever, he'll, he'll, he'll take that and flip it, you know? He'll play on your mind. You're not a man of the Lord. You should be doing this, this, and that. You know? Uh, uh, uh. You know, you didn't read enough, whatever the case may be. And we know we could do, hey, we can't do enough. All right, we can't praise the Lord enough. You know, it, it's it's uh, we're we're in we're in debt. You know what I'm saying? Hey, but the Lord is coming to clear that debt, man. So we constantly have to believe upon Him. All right, every single day. You know, and and waking up every single day is mercy from Yahweh Bashim Yahshai. So take that to comfort you as well. You know, he didn't put you to death. <laughs> you still know Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Right? It said, uh, let me go to this Isaiah 55 and 8. Okay, because the heart is, is desperately wicked, man. Who can know it? So we just have to lean upon Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai and trust upon his word, man. Again, the days be tough, but hey, he that endureth unto the end, the same shall be saved. Isaiah 55 and 8, For my thoughts are not your thoughts, neither are my ways, or so like it, neither are your ways, my ways, saith the Lord. Okay, for as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways, and my thoughts than your thoughts. Okay. Hey, man, the, the Lord knows um, your intentions, man. He knows your mind. He knows you're trying. All right, don't beat yourself up, man. To the point where you're in a woe is me spirit. You know, you don't feel like uh, uh, going out to the camp or being around the Akim. Satan will do that just for you. Yeah, he, he's trying to sift, man. He's trying to sift us back into the world and sift our faith. That's his job. You know, he's working on the left uh, left hand side. All right, but we got to go to our big brother, Yahweh Shai. To keep us, you know, you know, you you run into uh, you like your actual brother. Say you have a brother, you run to uh, for his comfort, man, for his protection. Your big bro, you look upon your big bro to help you, right? Uh, and there, let me go to Sirach thirty-three and twenty-seven. Um, you know, bringing up that point again with Satan. You know, playing on your mind. Hey, man, stay occupied in prophecy and the news, right, doing the work, being around the Akim, you know. Um, so, like, you lost my own place. Ecclesiastes, here we go. 33. I said it was, uh, yep. Um, I was just going to grab this real quick. Uh, Ecclesiastes, Sirach, 33 and 27. 27, send him to labor that he be not idle, for idleness t teacheth much evil. And above this, it goes in, you know, to um, how to uh, uh, um, treating your servant, you know what I'm saying? Right? And, and pointers on that. But the point I wanted to grab is idleness teacheth much evil, you know? So if your mind is idle, you know, you're, you're constantly uh, uh, meditating upon that particular thing, right? Again, it, it's going to lead down that rabbit hole. 
You know, so keep, so keep your mind occupied. Keep your mind occupied upon the kingdom of heaven first and foremost. You know, and and uh, you know, take your mind off it by what? You know, reading, praying, fasting if need be, being with the acium. You know, uh, 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 self care. You know what I'm saying? Taking care of your diet. You know, drinking some yayan when when need be. You know, when you have to relax. As the brother was saying, relax, chill out. You know, we don't have to be over righteous in this thing, man. And that comes with experience. You know what I'm saying? Because I still battle with that, man. And I'm speaking again, first and foremost, to myself. You know, uh, be not over righteous much. Loosely paraphrasing. A holier that holier than thou spirit, but it's more of you know what I'm saying, uh, uh, beating yourself up because you feel like you're not doing enough for your help by some y'all shy. You know? You can't be in the spirit. Uh, uh, to, oh, let me take that back. You, you're not going to be like uh, a monk, you know what I'm saying, where you're 24-7 in the scriptures, you know what I'm saying, uh, uh, popping through your head. Right? You have to, There's a balance, man. The point being, you have to balance. You have to balance. So, like the brothers was bringing up, you know, getting a massage, um, getting a cut, you know what I'm saying, listening to some nice music, you know, uh, meditating, going to catch a movie, going to uh, a, a, a musical, whatever, whatever your spirit likes, man, do it. You know, as long as you're not uh, 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 going off, you know what I'm saying? So let me grab this as the brother Benji had brought out. Romans 14. And that's how you combat Satan, man. You know, what am I doing that's wrong? <laughs> you know, I rebuke. You have to rebuke that. You have to rebuke that spirit, man. Rebuke that spirit. Romans 14 and 22. Has thou faith? Have it to thyself before the Most High. Happy is he that condemneth not himself in that thing which he alloweth. All right. So, again, if you're not going off, you know what I'm saying, where there is no law, there is no sin, right, and everything is not expedient, you know, for every man, uh, per se, but uh, you don't have to condemn yourself, man, if you're just, you know, taking time for yourself. It's all good. It is what it is, like the brother had brought out, the hell's still going to be there, you know. The hell's still going to be there. You still have to go through what you got to go through. But it's, it's cool to just, you know, kick it. Chill out. Relax. What they say, uh, take a chill pill. Okay. And uh, I'll end with this. Hebrews. And Lord willing, this is all coming together. Kind of like a righteous rant. You know, because I've been, I've been dealing with this myself. All right, Lord's will, you know, if another brother might be going through the exact same thing, Lord's will is comforting and exhorting through the Spirit, uh, Hebrews 10 and uh, 35. It reads, Cast not away, therefore, your confidence, which hath great rec uh, recompense of reward. All right. So know that, hey, you're still in this truth. You're still fighting. Okay. You're still doing what needs to be done. You're still trusting and praying unto Yahweh Bashem Yahushai for deliverance. You know? You believe, right? So don't cast away your confidence. Be confident that He is a rewarder to them that diligently seek Him. And we're, we're seeking the Lord every single day, man. We're caring about the, what the Lord thinks of us. You know? Not in some, uh, 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 in a bragging or bo uh, What's the word? Ah, so like it, forget it. But, you know what I'm saying, uh, being that point, you know what I'm saying, cast not away, therefore, your confidence, man, your faith. It says, for ye have need of patience, and that patience goes into suffering. All right? It says that after ye have done the will of the Most High, ye might receive the promise. So we're still a uh, 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 kingdom-minded, you know what I'm saying? But, again, it's a balance to this truth. You still have to feed the flesh in in um in some sort of way, you know what I'm saying? Right? We're not robots in this truth. Alright? 
or not robots. You can enjoy, you can enjoy yourself. You can, you know, Jake likes music. You know what I'm saying? Them good food, them good eats. All right, be mindful about what you put into your body. But hey, every brother has their uh, uh, uh guilty pleasure, so to speak. Uh, it says, for yet a little while, and he that shall uh, come will come and will not tarry. Know that we're right at the end, man. We're at the end, all right? Now's not the time to be weary, all right? Now's not the time to be weary. Gird up thy loins. And whatever you may be going through, man, another brother uh, uh, across the four corners of the earth is probably going through the exact same thing, man. But he, the Lord, Yahweh Bashem Yahshai, will give you a way to escape, all right? It says, now the just shall live by faith, okay? But if any man draw back, my soul shall have no pleasure in him. Now, you know what I'm saying? If that's being, or if that's taken away from the truth, right? You know, you have certain things you have to cut out, you know, detox from, right? But we're not the one, uh, let me just read it out. But we are not of them who draw back unto perdition, but of them that believe to the saving of the soul. Okay? Not like we're in the world partaking with the evil that these people do. Nah, man, we're, you know, we're separate. Alright, we're um, users of the world, not abusers. Alright, and that's the point, man. Use the world as not abusing it. Still gotta op operate in this world, you know? Still do the things that you like, right? But it's not it's not the uh, end all be all. It's not the forefront um, of our minds or what we uh, you know seek. We're seeking after the kingdom of heaven. At the end of the day, we're seeking for a new world again, and that in the righteous kingdom to flourish. All right, because Lord knows we don't like being here, man. Shit's hell. All right, that's why again, it's cool. To cool out. <laughs> all right, so with that, Lord is willing, this is all edifying and exhorting unto the flock. I know I was rambling. But um, with that, I'm going to give all praise, honor, and glory. Again, unto Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rechakwadash, double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, who rule well and teach well. Peace again unto you, hopeful elect. Shalom, Wa, Ababa, Ba.